What's good guys, it's Dogs Gaming here. And this is a real talk, real talk today. So, I'm gonna be going over the mentality of fighting games. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty lengthy video, so um, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. Um, if you Please leave a like and subscribe, you know, if you subscribe, you know, thank you. If not, then you know, this ain't for you. <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, so um, we're gonna be talking about our good old buddy, the fight stick. You know, you know what controller should you use for fighting games? Where do I start? Um, why should I play fighting games? Are fighting games harder to play? Uh, why, why do I have to press all these buttons just to do something simple? Um, you know, stuff like that. Stuff like that. You know. So, back to the topic. The fighting game mentality. So, when you want to say you're learning fighting games... What you're really saying is, I want to learn a new hobby or habit. So, basically, what I'm saying is, um, let's uh, before we get into the argument of fight stick or the dual shot four controller, you know. And by the way, this fight stick, oops, I bumped my mic. <laughs> Anyways, this this fight stick is the TES. I mean, the TES Plus. This is a Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition fight stick. Um, the brand name is Mad Cats. And um, before we get into this. We're gonna take my guitar as an example. So I'm not the best guitar player, you know. Not all that, you know. Just show you something. Just show you why I believe that fighting games, and this is why fighting games aren't popular. People are scared to learn new shit, you know. People don't want to fuck up. They just want to get home, you know. They're tired from work, you know, or whatever. They're bo they're boo boo excuses, you know. Uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like practicing today, you know. I had a rough day, you know. I just wanna. You know, let me let me turn off some Call of Duty or Fortnite. You know, let me press L two and R two. You know, kill people. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> you know that type of mentality. And uh, you know, if, and I suck at fighting games. You know, if, if I if I hop online, I'm just gonna lose. So what's the point of playing? You know, like I don't, I don't need any of that. I'm just gonna play some COD, bro. Kill people, blame my teammates. You know, the usual. Now. This is going to the fight stick too, and that's just the mental mentality of somebody who doesn't like fighting games. And I was the same way. Well, actually, I wasn't because I took a break from fighting games because I played all the Call of Duties except for number two, you know, number one, and uh, the new Call of Duty, whichever one it is, Modern Warfare Remaster H. I don't know what it is at this point, but you know, the newest Call of Duty. I stopped after Black Ops Four. Black Ops Two is the best. Don't care what nobody says. Bite me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so. The reason I'm talking about this today is because I'm sitting here thinking about it, and um, I'm just like, why is it so hard to find people to play fighting games with? Why do I have to join Discord? Like, like why, why is fighting games not as popular as any other game? Like, it's so hard. Like, the only games that I can find people in is Dragon Ball Fighters and Mortal Kombat 11. And I'm just like, there's so many other games. Like Undernight, you know, uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tie Battle, you know, uh, Samurai Showdown, you know, all those games are fun, but nobody plays. So like, like, what's happening? Like, and as I'm thinking, I'm just like, yo, if you think about a person's mindset, they don't want to learn new shit. So let's just say, for example, um, um, you know, you know, I want to switch to fight stick. So you know what I do? I throw my pad away. I pull out my um, my fight stick, and you know figure out the buttons are. I don't know what the buttons are. I don't know what the stick does, but you know, I'm just gonna figure it out. You know, I'm just gonna press stuff, you know. Same thing with um, a guitar, you know. I don't know where my fingers go. Okay, I made a noise. Okay, what does the string do? What does that do? Okay, I don't know. But anyways, you know, and after about a couple of tries, you know, you hop, you hop online, you get pissed off. This is me, for example. You hop online, you get pissed off. You're like, that's it. I'm going back to my controller. You know what? I'm not learning new shit. I'm done. Nah, bro. You know. You know, why do I gotta do why do I gotta press all these buttons? It's just stupid. You know. But let me give you the benefits of why. So as you're learning something new, you're gonna suck. You can't be scared to F up, but that's how you improve. If you want to get better, you have to love failing. Now I'm not talking about purposely failing. No, 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 that's terrible. What I mean is you don't let the results determine your growth that's basically what I'm saying 
every little thing counts. Every little thing counts. What I mean by that is, uh, let's just say for example, you know, I'm practicing this combo. I finally figured out where to put my fingers. Same thing with the guitar, you know. Oh, I'm practicing holding the strings, you know. I, I know what the string does, know what the string does. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can play this chord now. You know, same thing you're doing the combo. Okay, I know what punch, kick. I know what punch. I know what punch, kick, and throw does. Let me see if I can punch, kick, and then when he gets up, I can throw him. So you know, or something like that, you know. You know, just a just a basic thing, you know. And. Once you get that together, you got something beautiful, man. And you're like, oh, that was pretty cool. You know what? Let, let me let me try that again. And then you try it again. And you're like, oh, man. And then you try it another 50 times. And you're like, oh, my God, this is so hard. How is this possible? You know, I just... What's the point in doing this, man? I'm just going to go play COD. I just... I just can't do it no more, man. I, just, I, I don't. I don't even want to play this no more. I, I get dookied on. Everybody tells me to get good. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. But um, you know, it's you know, it's basically a new hobby, a habit, and that goes for anything in life. You gotta practice. You know. Don't be scared to learn new shit. And if that's not holding you back, let's just say um, well, I never play fight games. If I lose, when they get mad, well, <laughs> suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's salt, believe me. It's okay to be salty. It's okay. It's okay. I'm there too. Trust me, when I upload the next video of this hit, watch it being taken away my square. I'm gonna be salty. Be salty. By the way, again, again, no shame against this hit. If you're watching that video, love you, doll. Those combos were insane. Um, another thing, don't play while you're angry. Just take a break. Five minutes is enough. Just get some water, get some to eat cool down maybe rewatch that game if that game if we're watching that game makes you upset good progress <laughs> so so back to the oh the learning the fighting game mentality so and this is not a pretty long video if you made it this far thank you so much leave a like let me know what you think uh, leave a comment you know it really helps out so let's say I finally learned the bread and butter combo what is a bread and butter docs it's a combo that you know by heart that you never drop it does decent damage it's not optimized by any means, but it's that go-to combo that, that everybody can do. Or should know, you know what I mean? So, let's just say I figured out a 10-hit combo. So, I know how to change the motions of my hands. I figured out how to jump cancel. You know, I know all the fancy smancy stuff. You know, so, now, instead of playing one chord, now I can play four chords. And I know I know a lot of this. And it, it and now, you're, now, after a week of you playing this fighting game non-stop, well, not non-stop, you know, just two hours a day, like, put some time into it. You don't gotta play all day, like, you know, see if you like it, you know, just, you know. You know, like, and then once you learn how to change the chords, you can basically make a song, you know, put a little lyrics over it, you know, just, you know, same name fighting games. Once you learn how to do the basic structure, you know, you can make up your own stuff, you know. It, basically, what fighting games are to me is, is a way to express yourself, you know. It's not my teammates. It's not my character stats or level, you know. It's, it's not, it's not what type of gun I'm using. It's not, you know. It, it, it's you you know it's it's you you're in charge of your journey it's not campaign mode it's not story mode it's you you get in it's just as, you get in it's just as much as you put out you know if you put in time you're getting in line <laughs> I don't know I don't know that was pretty dip ass pretty bad so basically like the more time you spend on fighting games the better you're gonna get but even though it may not seem like it, some people learn slower than others, you know? 
some people can't even do a fireball motion and I and I pity those people <laughs> but you know I mean it is what it is fighting games aren't hard it's you're just learning something new same thing as switching controllers like keyboard mouse whatever you don't want <laughs> hitbox I, I don't care what you use but you know like don't be scared you may not know you may not like it the only reason I don't use a fight stick to play Dragon Ball Z fighters because I can't instant air dash on a fight stick that's it I will throw this controller away if I can if I can get my movement correct on a fight stick. The reason why I use a fight stick is because when I play Undernight, any game that requires me to play charge characters or any character provide, that provide that needs precision, I'm not gonna be able to put in circles or tiger knee as consistently on the pad as I do a fight stick. There's no way. No way. You can practice it, and I'm pretty sure with enough practice you'll get it. Cause I can do half circles on a pad. I just don't like it because it hurts my thumb. Like my thumb, my nail will be on the shatter. You know. And, uh, yeah. yeah, that's basically what I'm getting into. At the end of the day, fighting games are no different from any shooters, MOBAs, you know, just just play it like real talk. Just keep going, you know, you know, just keep going, bro. Don't give up. Keep trying. You know, there's been a time when I got so depressed, I went to work depressed. I was thinking about it because when I lost this game, um, I, I didn't know how to fight hit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hit? Really? Yeah, so I'm saying this Fighter Z rank match game, and uh, I got demoted again. And it got to the point where I got so depressed after I played 15 games with this guy because I wanted to keep playing. I was forcing myself to play him so I could learn the matchup. Because I know in my heart, the next time I fight a hit, I'm going to be ready. Same thing with Frieza. Same thing with Vegito. I pretty much mastered Vegito, bro. I labbed him up. I, if, you, if you're a Vegito player and you're trying to do the aerial sword shit, you're getting clapped. I'm TOD in that ass. <laughs> but anyways, you know, this is exactly what I say. I still remember it because I got so depressed. I was like, man, I suck. I deserve to lose my rank. I'm not playing Dragon Ball Z anymore. I'm going to take a break. I, I, I don't care. I I just can't do this game right now. And as soon as I said that, I closed app. I went on to Undernight Inbirth. And um, actually, it was when I did that stream. I, I doubt anybody watched it. It was three hours long. I was using the fight stick. I was learning fight stick and I was playing Nanase. And then the first video I posted of my best of, the, of my best waifu, Nanase, I was destroying people. Like, I was doing so well. And um, I tried a lot of characters. I tried Yuzu. She was kind of too much for me. She requires a lot of pianoing. If you don't know what pianoing is, good luck doing it on a controller. It's where you slide your fingers across the buttons. And that's if you're using controller. But with a fight stick, you don't have to do that. It's when you it's when you tap the buttons like you would play a piano like you know you know chords and stuff you know two fingers and then you, you know you know you know how pianos work but yeah basically yeah you do that for fighting games you do that for bread and butters that's pretty amazing right and I learned all of that in just three hours I mean granted I play I play a lot of fighting games but still like you know you know it only took me two days to learn how to do these chords you know like like when I started out guitar I didn't know anything and you know, I can just do some basic, you know. You can do arpeggios too. You don't have to strum the strings, you know, you can pick them. Ugh. Remember, I told you I wasn't the best guitar player? <laughs> You know, like, and I ain't played in a minute. But anyway, that's just the point. Uh, <laughs> fighting games been taking over my life. Can I stop playing Dragon Ball Z? Um, I'm going to show you the drills I practice on a day-to-day -day basis. But anyways, I'm going to see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. You made it this far. Thank you so much. Uh, appreciate your time. Um, if you want to hit the bell notification, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, leave a like, comment, you know. You know, just just let your boy know. If you got anybody that plays Undernight, please. I need people. And, uh. You know, playing. You know, it doesn't matter what controller you use at the end of the day. It's up to you. I'm just saying, like, you should try it at least. You know, you're never gonna know until you try. Like th that. If any, if you can take anything from this video, you'll never know until you try. You know, you'll never know. So, this is Dogs Gaming.
I will see you next time. PSN is Docs FGC. Join the community. Link below to the Twitter. Chat with your boy. If there's anything you need, I'm your guy. I got you. All right. Peace.